One, two, one, two, three, four. Come on. This is about making music 24-7, 100% of the time, and anything can happen. This is Jazz Ed. It's a program that helps bring some really great teachers from various high schools to teach kids from other schools. It's, it's a lot of kids from you know, not only the Garfield and Roosevelt area, but you know, all the other schools. Travel from Uncle Tio. It's about an hour with all the traffic. There were kids in Seattle and in the greater Seattle area that didn't get to go to the high schools like Roosevelt and Garfield that had these incredible programs so Jazz Ed could serve them. It extends, you know, that the great education that's available to maybe smaller communities. Kids who have access to to private lessons and stuff like that tend to excel and one of the things Jazz Ed is really trying to do is give out a lot of scholarships, uh, start kids off young. And it gives these kids an opportunity to really, you know, find something they love early on and they can, that also can offer experience and discipline. I started looking for other jazz programs outside of my schools and I found this and it was a little more than just outside of, you know, the school program, it was outside of what I was used to in general. I won't always end there, but I may end there, okay? This is led by uh, Wayne Horvitz. We'll keep it very simple, just because I want to get used to the tune. We've only played this once, right? Who is a uh, composer and you know band leader and, and musician. Well, what we do in New Works is we do kind of a different kind of jazz. We get away from the old standard kind of jazz, and we do a little more outside and free type jazz. <laughs> I kind of see an opportunity here to put an ensemble together that explores repertoire outside of the standard jazz large ensemble charts that most people play. You can write in 22-4 but hide the time signature because obviously there is no time signature 22-4 that has any meaning. The idea is don't think of it in a, any time signature. There's the thing that he does with conducting. Well, I bring some non-traditional conducting techniques. He has a bunch of different hand signals that he uses. There's other things where he'll do this and he wants you to play a long note, could be any note. He'll give us like a number signal, so one, two, three, etc. You know, you have to focus the whole time. You know, when you're resting, you're not just resting, you're also, you know, keeping your eyes on Wayne. You gotta be paying attention to him because all of a sudden he could be like, play number one right now, boom. And if you don't get it in, he'll get mad at you. <laughs> yeah, I want your eyes on me, not my eyes. You could see that though, right? I'll just get, you know in their face about it because they'll be looking down thinking, oh, he's soloing or she's soloing. I mean, no, 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 no. That's what I, I asked you to play loops, so I'm asking you to play loops again. I didn't do a thing. I, I don't teach like a teacher. I teach like, okay, we're, we're putting a band together. This better sound good after a couple of weeks, you know? And there's no reason why I can't. One thing about the very beginning is that, that that's gonna either sound awful or great depending on everybody's imagination and intention. The music's a lot more flexible, I would say. There's a lot more breadth for improvisation all across the board. It's really free enough to you. All sorts of things can happen there if we, but, but you have to embrace it, okay? I want open-mindedness and I want, like, you know, I want to see effort. But I also want to see joy and pleasure from them. I mean, if they're not having a good time, something's wrong, you know? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, too, but it's a great experience, and Wayne's awesome, and it's just really fun to play in a group of people who know what they're doing and love it. Everyone's so dedicated to the students, and, and the ensembles are, you know, top-notch. The more and more I play and listen to jazz, the more and more uh, interested and dedicated and passionate I get about it. You know, I can you know, really stretch my legs out and try all sorts of music and there's, you know, everyone's so encouraging. As teaching goes, this is about as good as it gets. I mean, these kids are all just like amazing. It's, you know, it's a blast. <laughs> Thank you.
When we're on the bandstand, actually doing a gig, they're always 100% there. Please give a huge welcome. It's the Seattle Jazz and New Works Ensemble and Mr. Wayne Horvitz conducting. One thing I always know is that when, when the music sounds good, they're excited. At a, at a young age, there's not a lot of things where you can like, have that unfettered access to something that you yourself can work on and, and just feel like the ultimate benefits from it. It's you know, an exposure to not only music uh, lessons, but also you know, life lessons that you may not experience otherwise. It's been just really just so inspiring. I mean, I have chills run up my spine sometimes. There's something to jazz where you can really say how you feel through your instrument. You know, there's a lot of individuality that comes with playing an instrument. And that's the most free and releasing of emotions that I ever feel. That's the importance of jazz to me, is just that emotional value that I, in every note that I play. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel, or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.